All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Brian. You were Chords and Notes Nation. That is Jeff Castellucci. That's going to be his version of Sound of Silence. The Sound of Silence. And, uh, well, if you're new here, by the way, everything is raw, honest, and unedited. It's you, it's me, it's the living room. Sitting here together, we're going to listen to this. I'm going to give you a reaction. You're going to love it. It's going to be great. <laughs> You, it's it's really going to, uh, I enjoy doing this, and and uh, I'm really, I discovered voice play, and through voice play, Jeff Castellucci, and I'm really, 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 really intrigued on this one. Um, yeah, we had that one years ago, Disturbed, they covered it, and everyone was just going bonkers crazy, oh my god, it's the best thing ever, it's the best cover ever, blah, 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 blah. Honestly, folks, I didn't, it was all right. I mean, yeah, he's got a voice. Yeah, he can sing. And I was just like, I don't know, man. You know, for me, the original will always be the standard by which everything's measured. Okay? Doesn't matter which original. But in this case, this, this song. Because to me, it was the harmonic interplay between Simon and Garfunkel that made it such a rich, mystical song. Um, so I'm really interested in hearing what Jeff does. I know you guys have been educating me a little bit about him and his alter egos or his alternate Jeffs or however you want to put it. Um, and I don't know if this is one of those or if this is one where he's going solo on it, but I'm really interested. And just the fact that he's such a good, deep bass singer um, makes it even much more intriguing to hear what he's going to do. So let's not waste any more time. I want to get into this. Are you telling me he plays piano too? I wouldn't be surprised. Holy crap. I don't want to scare the neighbors. That was that scary. Other voices are him, right? You tell me. That subwoofer is really blasting the floor right now. i uh -huh. 
yeah, those voices are him. is um, so one one of the downfalls okay or, or not the downfalls but one, one of the challenges that I have by choosing to do things the way I do which I'm absolutely fine with okay I love doing things differently than other people I also have reasons but it's that now we're listening through speakers <laughs> and subwoofer, man. I don't know if you heard it, but I felt it. Everything was tingling. I had some, I, I got people that live downstairs. So thank God I, I don't do this all day long. They'd go nuts. Um, but that's only because of his bass, right? I mean, he's such a deep bass singer. Um, so I try not. I try to stay away from from comparing who's better at at what, okay? Especially when you're dealing with like music and musicians who are covering the same song. Because music listening is a subjective experience, what one person prefers is not going to be the same as what another person prefers, and so on and so forth. Is it fair to say, well, he did it better than this person, or that one did it better than the original, okay? And that was the original point that I was trying to get out with the Disturbed version. Is like, even though everyone's like, well, even, even Paul Simon said that Disturbed's version was better than their own. I don't care. I don't care what the original artist said. All that matters is what goes on here when, when that sound activates whatever emotional and thought-filled response that's all that should matter to you as well because that is the gift of music it brings to you in your specific state of mind based upon your specific experiences and preferences based on those experiences it will elevate you to a certain place now can I look at all three of these versions of the song that I've heard so far and say, well, which one is my favorite? Yes, I can, okay, because of what I just said. Do I prefer the original over this? I think maybe a little bit, yeah. Do I prefer this over the disturbed version? I like to cut against the grain. I'm one of those guys that, like, if everyone likes it, I'm not going to like it just because everyone likes it. Not all the time. But I have that tendency, and I have to fight that tendency. Um, I think I think there were a lot of things they that he did better. But the one thing that was mention, missing, excuse me, was that buildup of tension and resolution... To a, it, it didn't satisfy me as far as the resolution was concerned. I mean, it was there, but it wasn't what I wanted. What, and especially when they got to the voice, with, when the words of the prophets were written on the subway walls, that was where, like in the original, where all of that harmonic structure just came into such a focus and struck a chord inside me. 
and and even what is his name Draymond Phil Draymond whatever his name is from 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 Disturbed he was able to to activate that that emotional response by hitting that that tension and resolution and and he took a different approach Jeff did it it was a softer approach to it and there was more harmonic structure behind it which gave it extra layers but i didn't feel that i guess there was a punch is what i'm looking for there was there's a certain punch when you hit that high high point of tension and then release okay and if you if you know about music and and how music is at least western music is typically constructed you'll understand what i mean about tension and release um so it has value it, it, it was extremely good it probably made my neighbors take notice too which is great because <laughs> that's what we do right we say hey you got to check this out. This is wonderful. Um, but it just amazes me that, that his voice his the, the deep voice, but then how he can, he can sing higher than that. And it's really good. Also, I think any within the range, wherever he goes, wherever he exists is in, in that range, um, is, is really well done, really well done. So, Okay, um, that's all I have for now. Guys, subscribe and like. That grows the channel. If you want to go above and beyond, there's three ways to do that. That's in the description below. And uh, God bless you. Jesus loves you. And I will talk to you in the next video. Thanks.